Have you ever questioned how far faith can drive a person? What lengths an individual might go to prove their belief? Imagine, if you will, a world stripped of modern conveniences, where faith was the bedrock of existence and life's trials were seen as tests of that faith. In this world, we find a man named Abraham, a figure revered in many religious traditions, a man of unwavering faith, Abraham's obedience to God was to be put to the ultimate test. The story we're about to explore is one of the most poignant in the Bible, found in the book of Genesis, chapter 22. It's a story that has been retold and pondered over for thousands of years. It's the story of Abraham and his beloved son, Isaac. Abraham was a man who had waited an incredibly long time for the birth of his son, Isaac. In his old age, he was finally blessed with this child, a miracle in itself. To Abraham, Isaac was more than just a son. He was the promise of a future, the continuation of a lineage, the tangible proof of God's covenant. Yet it was this very son, this very promise that God asked Abraham to sacrifice, a request that to our modern sensibilities may seem shocking, even horrifying. But the essence of this story isn't about the act itself, but about Abraham's willingness to obey, his unwavering faith in God. This was a man who was prepared to give up what he held most precious, not out of fear, but out of a profound belief in divine wisdom. It's a story that challenges our understanding of faith, obedience, and sacrifice. So let us delve into this tale of faith and obedience and see what lessons we can uncover. As we journey through this ancient narrative, let's not forget that its echoes resonate in our lives today, reminding us of the power of faith and the strength of the human spirit. One day, God decided to test Abraham's faith, and the request he made was unimaginable. Imagine the scene. Abraham, a man of deep faith and devotion, is suddenly summoned by the divine voice of God. The request that followed was nothing short of shocking. God asked Abraham to offer his beloved son, his only son, Isaac, as a sacrifice. This was not just any ordinary request. It was a test of faith, a test of loyalty, and a test of obedience. Now put yourself in Abraham's sandals for a moment. Feel the weight of this divine command. It must have felt like a thunderbolt from a clear sky. Isaac was not just his son. Isaac was the embodiment of God's promise to Abraham, the living proof of God's covenant. To sacrifice Isaac was to seemingly sacrifice the future God had promised him. Imagine the emotional turmoil that must have gripped Abraham, a father's love for his son, clashing with his unwavering faith in God. His heart must have been heavy, his mind clouded with confusion and dread. Yet in the midst of this turmoil, Abraham displayed an incredible level of faith and obedience. Abraham was faced with a dilemma that would break the heart of any parent. His love for his son, his flesh and blood was immeasurable, but so was his devotion to God. He was torn between two great loves, two immovable forces. He was caught in a storm of emotions, a whirlwind of thoughts and feelings. Yet his faith in God remained unshaken. The gravity of this divine command must have weighed heavily on Abraham. The thought of losing his son, of laying down Isaac's life as a sacrifice must have been unbearable. Yet he did not falter. He did not question God's command. Instead, he prepared himself for the greatest test of his faith. Abraham, torn between love for his son and his duty towards God, made a choice. His choice would forever change the course of his life and the history of mankind. Abraham took Isaac and set off on a journey to Mount Moriah, the designated place for the sacrifice. Imagine, if you will, the scene. The sun is rising, casting long shadows on the dusty road as Abraham and Isaac begin their journey. A journey that is not just physical, but deeply emotional and spiritual. The air is tinged with anticipation and an undercurrent of unspoken tension. Abraham, a man of great faith, is wrestling with a profound internal conflict. On one hand, he is a father whose love for his son is immeasurable. On the other, he is a servant of God, committed to obeying the divine command, even if it means sacrificing his beloved Isaac. How does one reconcile such a contradiction? It's a question that surely must have echoed in the silence between the father and son as they journeyed towards Moriah. It's a question that Abraham himself may not have had an answer to, but his faith guided him nonetheless. A faith that was steadfast, even in the face of unthinkable sacrifice. And then there's Isaac, innocent Isaac, blissfully unaware of his impending fate. He walks alongside his father, trusting him implicitly, carrying the wood for his own sacrifice on his young shoulders. His innocence is poignant, a stark contrast to the heavy burden of knowledge that Abraham carries. As they journey together, 
Their footsteps echo with more than just the crunch of gravel underfoot. They echo with obedience, with faith, with love, and with the immeasurable weight of the sacrifice that lies ahead. This is not just a journey to a geographical location, it's a journey into the depths of faith. A journey that tests the boundaries of obedience and trust. It's a journey that asks how far are we willing to go in our obedience to God. And it's a journey that Abraham and Isaac are undertaking together, hand in hand, step by step. Unbeknownst to Isaac, they were heading towards a trial that would challenge their faith and obedience. Upon reaching the destination, Abraham prepared the altar for the sacrifice. Here, in the heart of Moriah, under the vast and open sky, a stage was set for a demonstration of unwavering faith, a stage that would echo through the annals of time. Abraham, guided by divine command, began to construct the altar. He gathered stones, each one heavy with the weight of his task, and built the platform where he would offer his beloved son. There was no hesitation in his hands, no trembling in his fingers. As he placed each stone, we see a testament to his obedience, a physical manifestation of his unshakable trust in the divine. The altar, rising from the ground, was a symbol of Abraham's faith, as solid and enduring as the stones themselves. Beside him Isaac watched, his young eyes wide and full of trust. His father, the man he admired and loved, was about to bind him, yet he did not resist. The obedience of Isaac mirrored that of his father, their faith intertwined and unbroken. Abraham took his son, his miracle child, and bound him. The ropes may have been rough against Isaac's skin, but the faith in his heart was unscathed. He was bound not by the ropes, but by the shared belief between him and his father, a belief in the divine plan and the conviction that they were playing their part in it. The scene was set, the altar prepared, the sacrifice bound. The air was thick with tension, the silence of the moment broken only by the whisper of the wind. Abraham, with a heavy heart, raised the knife. The blade glinted in the sunlight, a sharp contrast against the serenity of the scene. And then, in the midst of this profound moment, the divine intervened. But that's a story for the next scene. With a heavy heart, Abraham raised the knife, the knife that was never destined to fall. Just as Abraham was about to carry out the sacrifice, divine intervention occurred. In this moment, on the precipice of an act of absolute faith and obedience, the heavens themselves seemed to hold their breath. There was no fanfare, no grand display of power, but a simple yet profound occurrence. An angel of God, a messenger from the heavens, descended upon the scene. One can only imagine the relief that washed over Abraham as the angel's voice rang out clear and resonant, halting his hand in midair. The angel, in a voice both gentle and firm, commanded Abraham to not lay a hand on the boy, to do him no harm. Abraham's faith had been tested to its very limits and he had not been found wanting. The angel proclaimed that it was clear now that Abraham truly feared God. He had not withheld his only son, his beloved Isaac, from the Almighty, but the story doesn't end there. For in the thicket nearby, caught by its horns, was a ram. Divine providence had provided a substitute for Isaac. A testament to God's mercy, the ram was a tangible symbol of a spiritual truth. Abraham was able to carry out his sacrifice, but not at the cost of his son's life. Instead, he sacrificed the ram, an act that echoed the depths of his faith, his willingness to obey God's command and his trust in God's promise. In this divine intervention, we see a clear message. God does not delight in our pain, nor does he desire our destruction. Instead, he tests us not to break us, but to strengthen our faith, to refine us like gold in the fire. Abraham had passed the test, his faith and obedience were unwavering. His story serves as a powerful reminder of the depth of faith that can be achieved when we surrender our will to the divine and trust in the promise of God's providence. The story of Abraham and Isaac is more than a tale of faith. It carries profound lessons for us all. First and foremost, the tale teaches us about faith. Abraham's unwavering faith in God is something to admire and emulate. Even when asked to sacrifice his beloved son, he didn't waver, proving that faith is not just about believing when it's convenient, but also when it's most challenging. Secondly, the story teaches us about obedience. Abraham's readiness to obey God's command without question underlines the importance of obedience in our lives. It reminds us that sometimes we are called upon to do things that are difficult or even seemingly impossible. But like Abraham, our obedience can lead to blessings we never imagined. The third lesson is trust. 
Abraham trusted God's wisdom and goodness, even when it seemed to contradict everything he knew. This trust was not blind. It was rooted in his relationship with God. It teaches us that trust is not about understanding everything, but about believing in the goodness of the one we trust. And finally, love. The love Abraham had for God was so profound that he was willing to give up his most precious possession, his son, Isaac. This sacrificial love is a powerful reminder of the kind of love we are called to have for God and for each other. A love that is willing to sacrifice, to give and to put others before ourselves. These lessons from the story of Abraham and Isaac, faith, obedience, trust and love, are not just religious lessons, but life lessons. They are applicable in all areas of our lives, regardless of our beliefs, backgrounds or circumstances. These lessons, timeless and universal, resonate with us even today. But how does this ancient story relate to our lives in modern times? Well, even though the times have changed, the essence of faith and obedience remains the same. They still hold a significant place in our lives, whether we realize it or not. Picture this. You're standing at the edge of an unknown journey, just like Abraham. It could be a new job, a move to a different city, or even a life-altering decision. At this moment, faith becomes our beacon, a soft light guiding us through the darkness of uncertainty. It gives us the courage to take that first step, even when we can't see the entire staircase, to quote Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Obedience, on the other hand, is a bit more nuanced. Today, obedience doesn't necessarily mean blind submission. It's about understanding, respecting, and following the rules that govern our lives for the greater good. It's about obeying traffic laws to ensure safety, adhering to ethical guidelines in our professions, or even following public health guidelines during a pandemic. It's about contributing to a harmonious society, but just as Abraham questioned God's command, it's equally important for us to question and understand the reasons behind the rules we follow. Blind obedience can lead us astray, but informed obedience, grounded in understanding and faith, can lead to greater wisdom and growth. It's also worth noting that faith and obedience are not just about religion or spirituality. They apply to our personal growth, our relationships, and our contributions to society. They're about having faith in our abilities, in the people around us, and in the broader systems that govern our world. And remember, faith and obedience are not static. They're an ongoing journey. They require constant reflection, reassessment, and sometimes even a leap into the unknown, just like Abraham's journey to Moriah. So, as we navigate through our modern lives, let's take a moment to reflect on the lessons from this ancient story. Perhaps we might find that faith can guide us, and obedience, when justified, can lead us to unexpected outcomes. Uh, Abraham's story, while ancient, still echoes in the hearts of many. It's a tale that transcends time and culture, reminding us of the importance of faith and obedience. In this narrative, we see a man called Abraham who was willing to make the ultimate sacrifice, his son Isaac, out of obedience to his God. This story is not just about sacrifice, but also about faith. Abraham had an unwavering belief in God's promise that he would become the father of many nations, even when asked to sacrifice his only son, the very promise of that lineage, Abraham did not waver. His faith was not merely a passive belief, but active obedience. The journey to Mount Moriah wasn't easy. The climb was steep and the burden was heavy, but Abraham pressed on. When they reached the top, Abraham built an altar and bound Isaac, preparing for the sacrifice. However, at the last moment, divine intervention spared Isaac's life, replacing him with a ram caught in a thicket. From this we learn that faith is not without its trials and tribulations. It involves trust, sacrifice, and sometimes walking down the road less traveled. But as Abraham's story shows, such faith is not in vain. The rewards may not always be immediate or as we expect, but they are there, often in ways we least expect. As we conclude, let's reflect on our own faith and obedience. Are we willing to trust? Even when the road ahead seems uncertain, are we ready to sacrifice our comfort for the greater good? And more importantly, are we open to the unexpected blessings that come with unwavering faith? The story of Abraham and Isaac is a powerful reminder of the strength of faith and the power of obedience. It teaches us to trust, to obey, and to look beyond the here and now. So as we go about our lives, let us remember the lessons of faith and obedience from Abraham's story. As we conclude our journey through this story, we invite you to explore more such tales of faith. 
The world is filled with narratives like these, waiting to be discovered, examined and understood. They raise questions, stir emotions, and often leave us with more questions than answers. That's the beauty of it, don't you think? These stories are not just tales. They are reflections of our own journeys, our trials, our tribulations, and our victories. Imagine the richness of insight we can gain from diving deeper into such narratives. Each story is a treasure chest of wisdom waiting to be unlocked. And the key, you ask? Uh, it's curiosity. It's the willingness to question, to explore, to understand. So, how about we embark on this journey together? How about we delve into these stories, unearth their wisdom, and share our reflections? Sounds exciting, doesn't it? If you're nodding in agreement, then we have a simple request. Subscribe to this channel. By doing so, you'll join a community of curious minds, eager to explore and understand the world around them. You'll be the first to know when we unveil a new story, a new journey of faith and understanding. But don't stop there, your thoughts, your reflections are valuable. Share them with us. Drop a line or two in the comments section. Tell us what you think, what you feel. Engage in a conversation with us and the rest of the community. You never know, your insights might just be the spark that ignites a fire of understanding in someone else. In the world of today, where noise often drowns out the voice of wisdom, let's create a space for thoughtful dialogue, for understanding, for exploration. Thank you for joining us in this exploration of faith and obedience. Until next time, keep questioning, keep exploring.